let's hit the raise your hand function. We'll start with Rob Lewis. Bayless, just what did you think about the overall offensive execution? Both sides combined for almost 800 yards in a game at a one o'clock. Man, it was exciting. I mean, I know y'all were I know y'all were excited to watch it. It was just, man, it's 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 unbelievable. You know, I'm just uh, me and my teammates are so blessed, you know, to have this coaching staff and be able to bring that energy and this high scoring um, power offense. Like, but it's it's like it's a dream come true. It feels unreal to be honest. We were just out there having fun, flying around. David Ubbin, then Patrick Brown. Yeah, Bayless, how would you describe what you saw from the quarterbacks today? I saw competitors. I saw um, each and every quarterback having fun. You know, um, the quarterbacks um, with the little handshake through the legs up top. Uh, everybody just having fun, good time, um, high fives, chest bumps. I just seen everybody having a good time with the quarterbacks. You know, we all love each other, and we're just trying to get better each and every day. I'm so excited about this offense in the um, upcoming fall. Bayless, Coach Heifel has been pretty uh, complimentary of you and, and, and Cedric and, uh, and, and Jalen today. And you guys have had some other guys made some plays too this spring. Just what's your confidence level in, in this wide receivers? And you feel like you guys can uh, sort of be big time playmakers for this offense? Oh, most definitely. Um, my brothers went out there and made plays today. You know, like I said, um, you know, just telling the guys and stuff like, you know, it's a, another day to play football, how blessed we were and stuff like that, and just go out and compete and have fun because the game's supposed to be fun, you know. I've been playing this um, sport since I was four years old and stuff, and, you know, just telling the guys, you know, go out there and have fun, don't overthink it, and that's exactly what we did. You know, we made plays and stuff. You know, we laughed. We coached each other. Um, and us told the young bucks to go out there and have fun. We got a lot of talented ones, too. Gustavo, then Vince Ferrar. Bayless, how do you feel when you caught that touchdown, you know? Do you feel like it was all putting in perspective to say you have fun? But when you score in the Nealon State with the fan, how you feel, you know, getting that touchdown? Oh, it feels good, you know, just to come out and um, compete in front of our fans and stuff. I know, um, you know, last season was kind of tragic with the um, pandemic and stuff like that, you know, uh, being a limited amount of fans and stuff like that. Just to be back in front of all nation, you know, to show them this new offense and stuff and, um it was an amazing feeling, you know. Um, I love Tennessee. You know, I love the fans. You know, I love everything about this place. And it's it's an unreal feeling, you know, and I can't wait to make um, many more. Bayless, you talked about how much fun you're having and you have had at spring practice. How do you keep that momentum and that positive feeling going through the, the off season? And with that, what are some priorities that you want to get accomplished yourself and as a team leader with everybody else? Um, you know, it starts by um, staying locked in. You know, um, this summer we're going to put in the work we need to put in going into fall camp and to the upcoming fall season. You know, just, you know, just everybody stay, um, everybody stay, um, everybody stay together, you know, stay in contact. Um, through this, um, even this summer break, you know, everybody just stick together and stuff like that. You know, when we get back together um, after this um, short break, you know, everybody, like I said, you know, team bonding is really a big, big factor. Um, you know, just kicking it with the guys outside of football, or anything, you know, everybody just staying connected. Um, I think that plays a big part of it. So most definitely. Ben McKee and Jimmy Hines. Bayless, I wanted to ask you about Cedric. Seems like every time he makes a catch, it belongs on on Sports Center. Uh, just what have you seen from from him this spring, and how important is he to the receiver room? Um, Cedric, he really stepped it up. Um, he's a totally different animal, especially coming into this spring. And I'm so excited um, to see what my brother can um, bring to the table. Um, really big body guy and stuff, using his body like no other. Uh, with his big hands and stuff, and the way he can hop on the ball is unbelievable. Uh, he's going to put up some crazy numbers. Uh, he's going to be pretty exciting to watch. You know, tell them to remember the name for sure. I'm so excited for him. I can't wait to see what he brings. Vitas, we've heard you and many others talk about how much fun that you're having playing football. Is that because of the scheme? Is it because of the camaraderie with among the players? Is it become a, because of the coaching staff? What is it? 
it's, you know, it's the bond between the players and the coaching staff, you know. Um, you know, if you got a coaching staff, you know, don't have much juice and stuff and that's not really excited, um, it probably won't be so fun. But with this coaching staff, you know, they come with smiles on their face and, you know, they're always telling us if you make a mistake, you know, drop a ball and stuff, next play. Like, we're going to keep playing ball and stuff. And that's what I really love about this um, coaching staff. Always picking us up, you know, always being positive and stuff. And, uh, you know, they're going to um, let us know what we're doing good and what we're doing bad. And at the end of the day, we're going to move on from it. It's this coaching staff and the energy. It's amazing. So blessed to have these guys. Last question, Nick Hill. I'm Bayless. One receiver that had a really big day today was Jack. Janet, just uh, speak on what he's brought to the receiving core. Jacket is a, he's an amazing player. He's he made so many unbelievable catches and it doesn't surprise me that he did that at all. You know, he's been doing it all, 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 all spring. And so that was, that was just an exciting moment for us, you know, like, oh my goodness. Like when I see my teammates make plays, you know, I'm more excited for them than I am myself, you know? I love seeing my um, teammates um, have fun, go out there and have fun, you know, make big plays and stuff. It just, oh my, it just give me chills. And so, you know, nothing surprised me about today. I was just really happy for him and stuff like that, you know. Um, we're just going to uh, come out and keep working. But I'm so happy for Jack, MVP. Thanks, Bayless.